What do you think people like Michael Jordan, Andrew Huberman, Oprah Winfrey, Tim Ferriss and Ali Abdal have in common? Yes, they are all successful, but they also share one powerful mindset which supercharged their careers. It is called Growth Mindset and this video is about how it works and how we can develop it. What you're about to learn was discovered through decades of experimental scientific research started by Carol Dweck from Stanford University. Yes, Stanford, she's Andrew Huberman's colleague. Dr. Dweck spent decades, more time than I am alive, studying why some people succeed while others, equally talented, do not. As it turns out, the answer lies in growth mindset. So what is it and how does this work? Let me illustrate this with a series of experiments conducted by Dr. Carol Dweck. Several hundred fifth graders solved puzzles in round one and they were divided into different groups. Kids from first group were told that you did great, you must be smart at those problems. The second group was told that you did great, you must have worked hard at these problems. As it turns out, different feedback pushed kids either into a fixed mindset group, kids praise for intelligence, or growth mindset group, kids praise for effort. Next, kids were asked what kind of problem they wanted to work on later on. It could be either easy, which would make them look smart, or difficult that they would learn from even if they wouldn't look smart. Only one third of kids from fixed mindset group wanted to work on difficult problems, compared with almost all kids from growth mindset group. Finally, the kids were given more challenging problems to work on round two and easier problems to work in round three. Surprisingly, results across groups changed dramatically after round three. Growth mindset group got almost 50% more correct responses than fixed mindset group. Not only that, but kids from growth mindset group persisted more on challenging problems and enjoyed them more. Additionally, kids from fixed mindset group were almost three times more likely to cheat when representing their scores. And they were significantly more likely to think that they were not smart after facing challenging problems. This happened despite the fact that kids in each group had the same abilities. In summary, people with growth mindset know that they can improve through effort, thrive on challenges, don't tie their identity to outcomes, so they see failures as a way to learn and grow. And this is strikingly effective strategy for life. That's why people like Michael Jordan, Andrew Huberman, Oprah Winfrey, Tim Ferriss and Ali Abdal are paragons of growth mindset. Let me give you a more personal example. When I was younger, I used to think that people were born with fixed natural abilities, talents and intelligence. Success and failure in life were simple consequences of that fact. So I had to be careful, stick to things that I was good at, otherwise people will see that I am talentless or stupid. Effort was for people that didn't have natural abilities, as naturals are good at things from the start. Challenging tasks were dangerous, as they could expose lack of intelligence or natural abilities. Failure was devastating, as it was a clear sign that I was a loser, a person with no talent. Asking questions would show that I am not smart. And feedback was only needed by people without natural high abilities. As a consequence, I was always procrastinating, avoiding effort, challenges and situations where I could fail. My life sucked and I was on a terrible trajectory. I didn't know that these were all consequences of my fixed mindset. After reading Carol Dweck's book Mindset, I started developing my own growth mindset. I understood that I could grow, improve all my abilities and skills. Effort became enjoyable as it was the path to mastery. I started seeking challenges wherever I could and seeing them as opportunities. Failures become great learning experiences. Feedback and asking questions became great sources of information on how to improve. With all that, I unleashed a new learning machine and my life was transformed transformed in years that followed. But let's put my anecdotal data aside. Are there any large-scale studies showing benefit of growth mindset? Yes, indeed. In a longitudinal data from over 300,000 students from California, growth mindset produced significantly higher academic achievement gains. And in a PISA study of more than half a million students from 74 countries, growth mindset produced higher test scores in 72 out of 74 countries. Students with growth mindset had significantly lower fear of failure, higher belief in their capacity to reach their goals, they had higher motivation to master tasks and valued learning significantly more. That's all wonderful. But there's one big problem with growth mindset that not many people seem to notice. In order to develop growth mindset, you need to believe that your intelligence can be changed. The problem is, IQ has a strong genetic component, which means that it is fixed to considerable degree. This is a valid point, so let's address this. What IQ tests measure does not determine outcomes in life. IQ explains only up to 25% of variance in academic achievement and only 5-20% to in income. Top 1% of earners are not people with top 1% IQ. There are plenty of people who have extremely high IQ and live unexceptional lives. For example, Christopher Langan, who has been called the smartest man in the US and possibly in the world, with IQ above 200, much higher than Albert Einstein, has produced zero valuable contributions to science and worked as a construction worker and a bouncer for decades. So how is this possible? Well, skills are created by combining talent and intelligence with a lot of effort. And once a person has developed skills, 
skills, it takes a great deal of additional effort to produce a meaningful achievement with those skills. In short, you need enormous amount of effort to produce valuable things in life. That is why people with growth mindset who work very hard, love challenges, and embrace failures like Michael Jordan or even Albert Einstein are able to produce amazing results. Moreover, even though we come into this world with certain amount of talents or intelligence, these can be changed with effort. Your brain is like a muscle. It needs challenges, effort, and going outside of your comfort zone. This kicks off neuroplasticity, which makes your brain work better and harder. We know that three types of neuroplasticity are created with effort. Improving processing speed by adding myelin sheaths. Improving brain efficiency by creating new connections between neurons. And even increasing size of your brain structures. All of these make your brain more efficient, better, and smarter. All right, so how to develop your own growth mindset? Growth mindset is built on understanding that your brain and your abilities get better with effort. This means that challenges and failures are great for you as they help you learn and grow. This is what gives you the capacity to get better at virtually anything. However, you need to be wary of any praise that you receive or give yourself after a successful activity. If it makes you feel talented, athletic, or smart because you achieved something, it will be a problem. That's because the next time you fail in a similar task, you'll likely feel that you're stupid or incompetent. Subsequently, you will start avoiding challenges and risks in order to protect your positive I'm smart identity. Now that's fixed mindset, which will harm your growth and future. Instead, always focus on effort and learning. This is the best recipe for your long-term growth and success. Remember that when you start a new activity, you won't be good at it. Progress and growth takes time, so don't get discouraged at the beginning. Growth mindset, it's not all or nothing. It's on a scale or spectrum. Moreover, you can have growth mindset in some areas of life and none in others. The important thing to understand is that you can develop and improve your growth mindset in all areas of life with time. And if you're struggling, ask yourself what would an ideal version of you with growth mindset do or say in that situation? And then do exactly that. Get a little bit closer to that version of you. Remember, small changes consistently applied will have radical positive effects in the long term. In summary, growth mindset will make it easier for you to start an activity, stick with it, rebound after failure, and stay hungry. Growth mindset will transform your life. And lastly, there's no way of sugarcoating this. Sometimes things will be tough. But know that discomfort has many positive benefits. You can watch my video on discomfort to learn more. And if you want to go even deeper about growth mindset, Andrew Huberman has recently released his own long video on growth mindset on Huberman Lab, just as I was working on this video. I guess he simply wanted to steal my thunder. <laughs> That's it. I hope this video will help you to transition into a new, better version of yourself. If you'd like to support this channel and see more content like this, subscribe right now. Thanks so much and see you in another one of my videos.